Hey everybody, it's Easy, and welcome back to the channel. Today we get to bring you a new attack. This is an adaptation of what we call the flex. And just to break it down for you a little bit, the flex is, it's a bowler walk and a queen walk. You walk them around the outside of the base, then you bring a, what we'd call a wrecking ball a kill squad. And that's a bunch of giants, wizards, valkyries, and your king down the middle. That's the flex. Well, the Wicked Flex, we developed this. It's in the development stages. Uh, we're really excited about it. This is for Town Hall 9. Main, main, blah. I'm going to learn how to talk. This is for Town Hall 9 mainly because the problem we were having with the Flex is that every single time that we wanted to use it, the Town Hall 9s had to, had to get bowlers donated to them in the clan castle for the bowler walk. So, instead of that, we're using the Witches uh, and doing a Witch Walk. That, that's where the Wicked comes in works perfect for me it's wicked good so the the wicked flex this is a witch walk it is a queen walk you do the witches around one side you do the queen around the other side and then you bring the, basically the interior of the attack is the same as the as the regular flex it's five or six giants followed by uh, the same five or six wizards followed by five or six valkyries followed by the king you bring them all into the core of the base uh, the spells now our clan all uses the flex all different variations of it we all bring different spells um flex himself he'll he'll bring two rage two heal and he'll earthquake somewhere in the base um uh, i personally I, I bring a couple poison and a jump spell instead of the earthquake so there's a lot of different variations you can use now in town hall 9 what i would suggest is that you use a jump spell and that you use uh, two heal and one rage because when you're in the core of the base you need those two heal spells to keep the valkyries alive a lot a lot of players are catching on to what hurts valkyries and the valkyries get hurt by four or five giant bombs all together so you have to make sure you identify those areas and make sure you lay down a heal on top of that that way they'll keep those valks alive you got to keep them alive uh, also the giants are a big part of this raid you wouldn't think that giants i used to think them as primarily farming troops but they're not uh, they, they have you you put five or six giants on one defense it goes down pretty quick there's tons of hit points there now they are vulnerable to like let's say uh, a wizard tower a bomb tower uh, you, you know they have a ton of hit points but those wizard towers are hitting all of them at one time so that kind of cuts away from the, the total the total collective amount of hit points they have which um, you know if you have a max golem and then which is 30 housing space and you have the same housing space of max giants you actually have more hit points for the giants but again if you get that wizard tower which is hitting all of them at one time that kind of depreciates from that so getting back to the attack uh now the theory of this is is pretty simple uh, we've been watching the witches and you have to have at least three of them together uh three witches together with three healers on them they do a really good job of shooting over the walls themselves and sending the skeletons out in front of them. Uh, the skeletons, they, they do tank well, but remember, they're not, they're not tripping any of the traps. So the, the witches still are vulnerable to the traps on the outside of the base. So a suggestion would be to add a couple of, of goblins to it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm struggling, people. I'm struggling with the talking today. Someone with such a big mouth, how can I struggle talking? Uh, yeah, so you, you add a couple, uh, add a couple of goblins and you can just put them in sporadically in front of in front of the witches and they usually don't get caught in the traps themselves but they will trigger all the traps and there's a lot of players that will put several traps on the outside of the walls because they know that you're going to have something going around the outside to try to clean up those trash buildings and you know they're hoping that you have something small enough that one giant bomb might kill all of them or you know a, a couple of uh, spring traps might might hurt just enough troops so you can't three star and when you're going around the outside of the base with witches you know witches are as good as they are they have their vulnerabilities and the vulnerabilities of the traps are there they're highly susceptible to getting hurt by traps um, now you have three witches they can they, they can stay up the entire raid but one spring trap will take one of them out and that will really hurt your chances of, of three starring if if uh, in comparison to having all three witches now I've been doing this attack all day. Um, I've probably got 10 attacks under my belt today, and the witches have survived on the outside of the base, and they've met the queen on the backside of the base in almost every single attack. 
Uh, you want them to stay on the outside of the walls. You don't want them to go inside the walls. You want the witches to, to fire in unison on one defense because they've got that little buff that, um, that gives them just enough DPS to take out these defenses pretty quick if you have three of them. And, and I wouldn't suggest doing more than three because if you do four or five, then you're taking away from the, the, the kill squad that's in the center of the base. And you really need the, the numbers in the middle of the base. Uh, the flex, one, one of the problems that we've had with it, and we don't have many problems with it. It's a, it's a superb attack. It, but one of the problems is that you can lose troops in the core of the base. And you have to rely on the queen walk and, and the bowler walk over on the outside to clean up those last trash buildings and those last couple defenses in the back end. Uh, so, you know, that being said, you really don't want to take away from... What you what you have going into the middle of the base so very first attack that i used with with ezekiel with easy um three star it wasn't a very good base but when you're trying out these new attacks you don't really know how it's going to work out you don't know you know well, let's put it this way when the witches first came back we were all enthusiastic about it everyone started building witch attacks and we found out real quick that the witches aren't like they used to be that the just the one factor that they don't that the skeletons don't trigger any of the traps that it, it really changes the whole dynamic of the witch it, it's kind of like the healer situation uh, the healers didn't used to pull out bombs now they do and we all know now now people can plant all of those uh, black bombs on the outside of their base and they can beat up the healers there's many many raids that you don't have healers left when you're doing a queen walk where it used to be that you'd have them last the raid the entire time so people will, will adjust to all these attacks uh, this next attack was with too easy. This is the second, uh, just a little background. The first attack in the video was the very first attack I tried with too easy. Um, I, I forget at this particular moment how far I got. I think I got 80 or 90%. Uh, then, then I tried the attack with Ezekiel and we three star with it. Then I found a dead town hall 10 with, with too easy and attacked it again. And this just shows you, this is the first three attempts that I tried with this attack. And if the results of it, when, you, when you're trying a new attack out and your results are 90%, 100%, 95%, and it's all up in that area, you know you're on to something pretty good. And it's just going to take a little bit of tweaking and a little more experience before you really have something good to work with. So, what I'm saying right now, just after one day of seeing this attack, is that this is going to be another viable Town Hall 9 attack. Um, you know, Town Hall 9's already got tons of attacks. There's the Laloon in Town Hall 9 that's really effective. You have uh, the Goho and all the different variations of it that's really effective. You know, Town Hall 9 is, just has a plethora of attacks that you can use. Uh, now, I don't know how well this is going to work long term in Town Hall 10. Uh, because Town Hall 10, you, you have the core to, to contend with. Uh, now, I'll tell you this, I've been watching Flex use the Flex on Town Hall 10's and he tears through the core time and time and time again. I, I'm not as good at it. My timing is not like his. So this is another one of those attacks that you're not going to be able to just drop and go. You're going to have to have good timing. You're going to have to have good spell placement. And you're going to have to really think about where you're going to place your spells. Because one misplaced spell and you get a double giant bomb up, out underneath you and you lose four or five troops, there goes the three star. You're just not going to three star if you lose five troops with one giant bomb where, you, where they could have survived with a good spell placement. So, this is another attack where I would suggest copying the copying the uh, troop composition, trying it out for yourself. I haven't seen this attack out there yet. I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos, I listen, and I haven't really seen this exact attack out there yet. I could be wrong. There could be someone else that's doing it already. It hasn't been done to us yet in any clan wars so far, but I'm telling you, it's going to happen. People are going to catch on. We, we noticed the witches in numbers were, were actually really good, but not inside the base. They were good outside the wall shooting in. The, their, their damage per second has been raised. I don't know if they're shooting faster, but with the, with the bump up in, in hit points and the bump up in the damage per second, they're just really good outside the wall shooting in. And then you put the healers on top of them. The healers keep them alive. And they have just enough range. That they can take out some of the, the air defenses as long as they're not back about seven or eight spots. And that's that that's that danger zone for the air defenses that we should all identify with. Any kind of queen walk when, when the air defenses are back around that eight spot. You have to be careful. So, 
Calling it the Wicked Flex. It's another great Town Hall 9 attack. We'll have a lot more on this one coming up. So if you stay to the end, I do appreciate that. This is the end of this one. So I will see everyone later. Take care. This has been easy.